Or is it Forbidden Love? Forbidden Love? It's a bit more like Romeo and Juliet because they were split apart. Yeah, yeah. And now they're kind of looking at each other across the hall. I just saw them kind of, you know, exchanging glances in the uh, route to the bathroom. Oh. And now they're oh. in the route to the pistol. Okay, well, this one got spicy. Odds favouring Heroic, and it's going to take the tone out of things. Cadian posturing middle to see if anybody's home, but it's your kinder. Contact Cave onto Tessus. Has a lot to deal with in the first click. The first headshot, Skulls felled. That is satisfying. That is delicious. And building upon it with a smoke on Cave limits their options on this pistol adventure. Cadian starts to probe out mid. Donut angle held, so cross to red. Nuts' his responsibility. He'll be calling for that, and, but he's certainly heard that. Gallivanting towards Red Room, kicks him back and away after taking some space here on lane. Yeah, what do they do with this now? The fact Kedian's got red, Shusha's still tucked in to deal with that. Kixon probing forward the bomb on Naf transitioning back. They want to take this fight. Kixon's about to get some Oh, traction he was. Gets out of dodge in time. This B set up very strong for heroic. SCT pistols, they are very valuable. And we are gonna see the Utah sail out from Twist. Do they go off of this? It looks like they will. Cadian to try and arrive a little later to the party. He's not going to clear Shush here. It's very hard and clear. And uh, he's completely neglected. Oh, oh. oh, makes a meal of it, does Shush. Cadian lives on. This is a fast flank. Now, Kixon's in trouble. Naf has found a nice headshot. Cadian's flank applying pressure from both sides at the same time. He's not rushing it, though. Just his presence alone is, is going to waste time. On their way back in, Nikodos gets cleared out as a unit. Now Tessas reveals himself. Oh, and a couple of good clicks could have made the round interesting. Nurt still can. Not going to be comfortable nor easy. Bomb ticking away at some pace. He does not have a kit, but he's going to just stick it. And they're not going to run him down immediately. There's the first confirmed. He's off the bomb. And Cadian down. Naffle trade. A lovely 3k from Nafly to get liquid the pistol. Just a quick one, Alex. This is for you while we get situated because it's going to take a few moments. New setup. Hit N on your keyboard. Bam. Nice. What, what side do you like it on? No, that looks good. Yeah? Yeah. The logos are, are wrong. Yeah, but that's why I thought I thought it was meant to refresh it. Hold up. I'm, I'm clicking mine as well. We'll get J-Raz in here at some point. He's busy right now. He can give us a hand. We've got a uh, interesting little pistol that kicked off. And look, uh, do we do we need to focus on the shush Kadian exchange? We don't have do to. Do we need to tell everybody that was the reason that the round fell apart for Heroic? Well, I mean, I think that's probably your job. Yeah, well, that is the reason that the round fell apart right. for Heroic. Uh, yeah. It felt like that kill should have been Shush's, but... You can attest, Chad, even as someone that's, you know... He what? wasn't running, though. I know what you were going to say. Yeah. It's a pistol was he round. Walking? He wasn't looking. At, he was walking. All right. If he was running yeah. and you had a distance away, and he's not uh, expecting you, so it can be a bit. Janky. Can we do him dirty? Do we have it in the replay? Sure, she's still got a smile on his face. I, I would feel it because I'm not gonna lie. When we immediately cut from that to kicks, and I'm like, well, he's in trouble, isn't he? Yeah. They're coming up rampant. He's this guy's going speedway. You're like, well, the missile guess started what? with that Tessa's headshot on skulls. So nice they had the stack well. over towards B. Yeah. Well, we know what the tech issue is, don't we? Yeah, there's a little, a bit of very clear indicator. Look at that little purple mouse from Skulls. It's tiny. It does look small, or doesn't is it? it? Just maybe it could be the perception of the camera. Of the, yeah, the way that maybe like a fisheye type beat. Yeah. I think it's probably a, a standard size type mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty standard, actually. So uh, the jury's out on these jerseys. Giving, it's giving football core. You football know. core. Yeah, there's all of this. There's like a hardcore, well, metal like core. Yeah, okay. exactly. Like cottage core. Cottage core. Uh, football core was in last year. Uh -huh. uh, a lot of the. Uh, Is this like retro football? Precisely. Like the, 90s, the more retro, 90s jerseys. 90s jerseys. You okay. wear them with From like FIFA baggy 99. jeans. Yeah, okay. exactly. All right. It was a thing. You put your. your oh, it is a normal on. mouse. It's it is a normal size mouse. Normal okay. size mouse. That's good. Good start. Great start. He's gone for the yellow edition. That's Nikodos. Yeah, the jury is out, isn't it? I liked what they've done with this, like, Pantone. Like, you got these little rectangles of color grading into, like, a pink called. at the back. No, just it reminds me of, like, yeah, like, like well, you can't see it. You have to turn around. Hey, shush. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine if you just suddenly looked at the camera. They're how far? Well, they're a little distance away from us. Yeah. Did you peek your head into the uh, venue, see how they're building up for the weekend? N no, but I did take a picture of a really interesting um, set of chairs on set the way of to chairs. the bathrooms. Yeah. 
Okay. Can I show you? Yeah, show me the look set of the chairs. chairs. Aren't they interested? Look at that. Doesn't it look like something out of a movie? Where are they in the lavatory? That's just on the way to the, to the bathrooms. Oh. It looks like kind of a... Imagine, yeah, a meeting of some description. What if, what if all those chairs were taken as you were walking? Do you walk past those chairs to go to the bathroom? You do. Yeah, it would be weird, wouldn't it, if you were sitting there as you walk past? Yeah. Yeah, it has. It's it's got a mysterious aura to it. It does. I think I'm going to tweet it. Okay. Yeah. The bathroom stools. Look how mysterious this is. Okay. okay. What time is it in Europe, Chad? Uh, well, we should say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's and hopefully them. not good night, because no. uh, uh, we are in a GMT plus eight time zone right now, which is uh, look the same as my home time zone of Perth. So I, I feel. Day. Still jet lag like everybody else, but uh, it is yeah. six thirty-five a.m. in Central Europe. Well, have you not seen the tweets? All of the dad gamers love it. Yes, I have seen Dupree yeah. talking about it. Shoxy. Uh, yes, it's true. This is when the oh oh okay, I'm gonna yeah. have to turn yeah, him. Give down. that one a little bit of adjustment. Give him a little bit of waz. And it's this blue one right here, I believe. Oh yeah, sure. Because that's that's headset three. Oh. There might be a tricast in the mix at some point for Harry and Hugo. Yes, if they're lucky. Yeah, that's, how, that's gonna be better. You like that? Apologies for the janky start, guys. No, this is how it goes. Yeah, it's just how it is. Day one, game one, best of one. With the one and only Chad Birchall by my side. Let's tactical timeout, actually. Yeah, so we are. Doesn't look like we're we're cooking. And we heard from Saul mentioning something about the MP9s, and well, understandably so. They've got a couple bought up. One for Nerds, one for Kixon. That's the way it's got to be. It has to be this way. That way the logos match up. All right. It's got to be that way. Yeah, it feels better right? that way. Yeah. Okay. I don't like the... Hopefully that goes away. 1-0. The score. Yeah. In this best of I one. I think it's good. Day one. All right, I'm going to take a breath. Game one. I'm set myself in. All right. Horse spike from Heroic. Let's see. How they can respond. Aggressive maneuver through cave possible. Kicks in. And Tessus. As Nikodos with the scout, the ability to get those tags is mid control. Being vied for. Yakinda, aggressive in towards cave. Always a tough task against the pesky pistols and upgrade of the MP9s. Still going to try and force out any utilities. This again, Cadian has been able to get all this control towards red so early within the round. This is issues. Yeah, he's being a real problem. Nerds is the one to aggress it, tries to clear him out. Cadian beheads him, that was convincing. It's good if Cadian starts to field the game. Mm -hmm. It's going to be very important for his calls throughout this map. Well, I would imagine it's going to become a very different task when you get full util on the CTs. Uh, see if you can continue to find these gaps. But right now, yeah, he's oh, certainly got a feel for the game. It's been a pressure point in the opening two rounds, and sure, you're right. It does depend on the type of buy, but also you can see where they... We've got some info. At this point, you're thinking it's a B stack. At this point, you've got to be suspecting. Well, if you return back, you're still going to have to worry about A main. That's where Shush currently resides. But Katie just keeps on having a look. He's got the rotation cut off. Should have another kill easy as you like. And there it is for Casper. This is looking very sad, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, kicks and finding that does raise a couple of eyebrows. If Nash gets run down, which he controls lovely with the Galil there, finds his fourth. Yet to die is Naf. This will be a save. Yeah, most definitely. See what Shush and Nikodos can get away with. Well, that's an upgrade, that's for sure. A nice lil for Shush. Yeah, they should have known that Shush was still in the play, the A anchor. So, uh, likely assuming he was stacked over towards B. Oh, scout for Nikodos. 5-7 uh, to be dropped into the next. Shush with the Galil. Something threatening for Heroic to work with. Yeah, you feel a bit silly giving that one away, but uh, you'll take a round. 2-0. Uh, Dreamy. I really want Liquid to work, man. I like. I got. I got excited about uh, seeing this international project, but we we know everyone knows it's not been uh, sunshine and rainbows. The best thing they've done is qualify for Dallas. Yeah. Everything else has been miserable. Well, they, at least they're at Dallas. So they're here in Chengdu. Yeah, nice little wild card. Yeah. And I don't mean the team. No. Who also are a no. wild card. And they have a fielded a wild card. As well as the steel helmet. Yeah. A yeah. third wild card. The steel helmet. It's like a deck of Uno cards. Let's see what they do with this uh, M4 in the mix. Yeah, this is interesting, the fact they've invested into this. That's been dropped across from Kixon. This is a round that Heroic are really going to try and win. A big investment. Yes, 
access. Does get isolated. Good moves from your kinder there, using the MAC-10 close quarters. Shush reveals his Galil. Kadian has managed to uh, cause some problems. He's going to be taken down by Nerds, though. And kicks it. Yeah, he's lost his head there. And that's big from Naf. They can Reaction. surely pince us straight into the B side. The Util's going to land. Nikodos behind it. No one forward of it. The retake. Not going to be feeling too good now. Nertz has his bell rung down to 46. He's getting punched in. You might want to hold on to this M4 if you're Nertz. You're not going to find anything behind these smokes. An extra one on Kixen to lob out. And they really should just be saving. Yeah, it's not looking too compelling. No, Nikodos is the only one that you'd say can hang around and look for something. And it even looks like he wants to back off as well. As soon as that M4 was noted over towards Red Room, they sprang into action towards B. I like the push up the ramp from Naf. Isolating that kill in towards the site. The smokes land. Easy stuff. Good response from Liquid. These are the... I know this sounds silly, but these are the basics that we're looking for yep. in the early stages. How they're going to respond. So four to stay alive and a relatively clean start. Very positive signs as the bomb goes off. 3-0 scoreline now accrued. Bonus of a uh, Mac-10 in the hands of Yakinda to carry forward. Nading the smoke, getting that timing perfect, and this was uh, this is the pick you were uh, highlighting that led and a one round. We're gonna have to get our HUD sorted here, Alex. There it is. Uh, we, no, but we have Kixen on, on Team Liquid side on our HUD for some reason. Yeah, we do. I don't know what's going on. Oh uh, well, we can work with <laughs> the PGM. Yeah, I guess. So it's Fine. meant to be twists. Early A pressure. Trying to bait out this utility from the A defense. They've been able to do so. Nikodos caught across to the AWP. Shush operating with absolutely nothing in that util department. And the rotation back around the world. So just going to bleed heroic dry of their nades into the first gun round. Just holding on to two smokes and a handful of flashes. And a good use of the first 40 seconds or so of this gun round. Another donut smoke. It means they can't just run away. Test us with some information. But this is the thing. A flash over. I go. That he's going to get pushed off of that line. I think the pressure will be applied to Kixen quite quickly. If you take a look at the radar top left of your screen, if they get past Tessas without any dramas, it's going to be on Kixen. As we do get a bit of a B stream update for all of you playing at home. And that's an unusual result so far. Another best of one matchup. G2 looking to see if they can go further than the major. And this is going to be tough. Yeah. I mean, they're ex -seking. Shush has rotated over at least. Let's see how they handle this. Kicks it in Cubby. Tessus needs one here at least. Oh, oh he just gets his head blown off. Smoke missed for long Quick with the MAG-10. Miss Molly, or rather Miss Smoke. Molly will land. They're trying to limit his options. Shush can fight on this. And he naffed to hit a headshot. Does nail it. Your kinder builds upon it. And the round is Team Liquids. They even flubbing some of the basics there. They still hit the necessary shots. Throw everything in the kitchen sink to deal with that gap of the smoke provided. And I think as soon as you bleed out the CT utility early like that and you don't give them anything, well, they gave them something, it's going to be a whole lot easier of a round to maneuver. So very well done from Team Liquid. Has to be more than happy with a 4-0 start. Heroic hoping to save yet again. Nerds and Nikodos to retain their investments. Well, they're not getting well, hyped. all right, Captain Obvious. Did you hear that? Yeah, good start right now. Well, yeah, you haven't lost a round. It's definitely a good start. Look at this from Yakinda. Really put Tessus in his place with that one. And you can see that it does look like there's still a bit of rust, uh, a bit of crust around some of the Counter-Strike that's on display. I got the fix. Yeah? Alt R. I, wouldn't, I knew there was something. Yeah, I but knew, this is the we, thing. We, we used to know that. We haven't had access to it in a while. Yeah. We've got all these, you know, extra little toys that Jay and Rush provide us, and we've got how to use oh, it. I've only got four players. Yeah, me too. Oh. Something of a... At least now it's, it I doesn't... I think it's Twist's fault. I'm going to blame decided. him as it's, well. It's all yeah, Twist's I'm fault. happy to blame him too. Okay, happy bunnies. Team Liquid off to a flying start. Get to see the orb still in the mix. Is that an Easter reference? Yes, yes. 
I can't even remember what I said. <laughs> Happy yeah. bunnies. Happy bunnies. Happy yeah. bunnies. Uh, how did you celebrate Easter? Uh, at the major with you. What did we do? We we cast some counter strike. Oh yeah. Yeah, in Copenhagen. That's cool. So get another rifle round. Heroic. Oh, Voice oh. of concerns. Aggression oh. this time. And oh, skulls. He's alive, but only just. Hanging on by a thread. That doesn't clear him. He's gonna surely clear him. The unknown entity. Oh. They get them both. This is disastrous for heroic. Skulls with just 15 HP strikes. Perfect time and team play there with twists as well. There's going to be pressure on Kixon again. This rotation from Nikodos and Tessus. They've had to deal with all the gaps that have now provided towards Red as well as Donut. They will have to start investigating forward. Nikodos, the point man on that. Okay, Nikodos. Yet to do too much. Yet to frag. Yet to do a point of damage if the graphic is uh, updated. Gives it a little lucky loo. Nothing to report. It is all going to be on Tessus. Now, he fell quite convincingly in the uh, defensive cave. Has he got anything here in this rather powerful angle? Oh, quick with it. Very nice from Tessus. Could have been three. Gadium puts him down. Two on two. Shouldn't continue three now. Three on two, rather. Well, skulls. Yeah, we'll be falling to kicks That's in. confirmation of kicks in. The only problem is they don't really know where Nikodos is off to. So a two-on-two -two situation, 35 seconds on the clock. Plenty of time to work with them. They're just going to maneuver straight in. This is a perfect call. And they're noisy about it. Look at all the nades that Cadian has. They could start lobbing these out. Yeah, we'll do so. Kicks Head of the molly. Long. He's got a nice molly to deny the plant. Extinguish yeah. and plant. Oh, it could have gone horribly wrong. Cadian just getting away with 9 HP. Up on the retail, this is going to be tough. Yeah, not easy, not fun. Nade. Oh, <laughs> on his face. Surely that's going to dissuade. Continues to have a look. Doesn't have a kit. No, 10 seconds of fuse, and they've both gone round the world. This is craziness. Like, genuinely cheeky as all hell. Of course he's pre aiming ramp. Of course they're going to send twists in loudly. And wall bang him. Never mind, just pushing straight through. 5 0. This is one hell of a good start, as Cadian put it. Yeah, just still staying calm, not getting fired up. No stress. But they're uh, having a walk in the park right now. Yeah. This opening towards the middle was fantastic, right? The fact that they were able to grab all of that space. Initial exchange going their way. Tessus with almost a hero maneuver, but take a look. Yakinda investing with a MAC-10, so I think he thought he was going to be up against something quite light, but that's not the case whatsoever. Heroic of... Hedge their bets with some cheeky investments. Couple of M4s. Not a single helmet in the mix. So that Mag-10 can slap, and that is a very ambitious spray. Double from your kinder. Twist puts another in the grave, and what's going on here? Heroic look uh, a bit wonky. Well, that was a premeditated aggressive cave maneuver. You saw the flashes coming yeah, out from Red. Two players in. pushing through. Your kinder deals with that completely. Naf now, he's going to deal with some aggression and pushing straight in. Shush is on notice. He's called out both individuals, so the information flowing for Team Liquid as they're going to cut them off at the pass. Skulls immediately pushing in towards CT Spawn. You're kind of going to go back around the world over towards T Spawn. So nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Max loss bonus, of course. Of course. Twist has even evacuated the site, so... They are pressing to take away all of these investments. Saved AWP would be tidy, and AK as well. Oh, oh good, good work from Shush to at least get the information. Perhaps an overstep. Yakinda takes it down, and Nikodos as well. No way. Yakinda starts that round with a MAC-10. He leaves with four kills and an AWP. You'll take that. You'll take that any day. This couldn't be going better, could it? Everything they're doing is working. Like, it was a, a drama for a moment. Kadian was sticking out like a sore thumb on that box. But it almost feels like heroic of got gone into this game thinking, oh, what's the worst way this could possibly go? Like, how could how disastrous could this feel, yeah, you know, well, for them? They're remembering the pain game. They're going, yeah, we played Mirage and we lost the first half 12-0. Yeah. And then we almost salvaged it, but we didn't. Alt R. Uh, no. No. Okay. I even tried reconnecting. Oh. I don't know. His, we blame it on twists. It's all twist fault. No one knows what we're talking about either. They can't no. see what we can see at home. Well, he's got 10K in the bank. He's loving life. Got an AK-47. Everyone's chilling. Everyone's got the best weapon they could possibly have. Maybe you treat yourself to a pistol at this point, having such a blast on T-Side Ancient. What's missing from Heroic CT setup, Chad? Kills? 
Yes. Uh, like the opening exchanges aren't going in their favor at all. So the first gun round, they got bled out of util, right? And then they just get executed on late. This type of a gun round right now, they need to win these opening exchanges. And I'm not sure if aggression needs to be the answer, but apparently that's what Nerds is thinking. Yeah, he is definitely thinking that with a very aggressive double push down towards the fight of elbow. They'll clear the smoke. They'll push straight through and Nikodos loses his head. Tessa's down too. It's Nerds to hang on to things. Makes it a 3v2. Skull's quick in pursue. He's going to find Nerds. He can find Shush. Nearly finishes him off right there and then. Cadian in the clutch. I think he's known for, and this would be a huge one on two. We might see him have a pop off and get out of the chair. Shush is low. He knows that Kixon is the B defender. Shush is the A anchor. Last noted towards Donut. So he threads the needle, finds the gap towards Red, and has more than enough time and utility to work with in a round like this. I have no idea. Kixon's opted to. Getting quite deep into cave. And we have seen the AD push from Shush, so he's abandoned A, sweeps through mid with nothing to report. Cadian, let's get the update on him. Into the site, a molly and a plant would be nice. Kicks are not going to reveal himself, will play for the retake with his teammate. Shush, low HP. Ideally, he goes first, it's Kixon to find him, and that's their first round on the board. You can see... Tessa's trying to motivate the troops. Your two remaining heroic members from Cadian's heroic sitting next to each other as always. Winning out the jewels in the middle. That's all this one really came down to. Cadian, you know, it doesn't really matter. They got the bomb down. Sure, they have yeah. plenty of cash already in the bank, but getting caught off guard by the cave player, just not aware. Not even able to really get that clutch going. Might be some B lane press coming through. Shush with an insta door smoke from spawn. Same with the elbow smoke out towards middle. Kinder negated by that for now and not wanting to tussle with it this time round. They are just going to park. Mm. Kadian setting up some utils. So the ability to retake this lane control. That's a nice flash up and over. Not going to commit off the back of the first. Looks like there'll be the follow through on. The second. So Cave has just been smoked out. Door smoke now has faded. And the spam through from Cave makes it feel like, hey, they don't have this full lane control, which is the correct call. AWP presence will be noted now. You're kind of working. I'm trying to grab them some space back, but a tone change from Liquid. Very much so. Just off the back of the uh, first heroic round. Liquid do change the pace, change the flow of things. They've taken that space, taken that lane control, and it seems like the call is another direct approach, this time towards the A side of the map. I mean, Heroic are flying blind. They are, they've kind of boxed themselves in, no info lane, expecting a BXEC any moment, and, well, they're about to be throwing out three smokes. Yeah, the thing is, Shush doesn't have any utility to block. Oh, that would have been ideal, the position he's it? playing up towards Tree, he doesn't have any nades to block, so he's going to have to stand and deliver a couple of kills. Okay, sure. Shadows reveal them. He swallows that flash, forced to get away, repositioning, calling for backup, gets away with one. Twist trade with tag. Smoke spam. Tess is advancing, trying to disrupt the plant as best he can. Doesn't want to go too risky with it. Twist is right next to him. Nade of the smoke from Nerds. Combined now with Tessa spawn the push. This looks good for a retake here. Tessus needs to be the hero with his boys behind his back. It's Nerds another onto Cadian. This is getting problematic. Naf, can you bail them out? Skulls and Naf side by side now. Just Skulls. 1v3. He's going to get double clear. There's no way he gets this one. Huge retake. Nice! Yeah, he agrees. Yeah, kicks and summon that one up perfectly. Shush was under a lot of pressure. Yeah. He did well to get away. He did. And that's, you know, A can be quite... I want to say easy to retake for the CTs, but this helps out a lot, right? They were clearing the smoke and fortunate to find Twist trying to play within it. It clears, they catch Nav's position up towards trees. They have a good idea that he can get off towards main. And then good teamwork on the way back in. A player covering Brokey, they swing out together, handling business, but finance is still there for Liquid. Six rounds on the T side, they'd already be happy with this. The only thing they're going to lose would be momentum. So another round or two before half time, that would be ideal. This is, uh, again, a grouped up play, but this time out of the gates. They're not going for a spread default. They're going straight in towards A main, making it look like a standard round. Cave smoke, mid harass utility, and away they go. Shush has nades this time, though. You're going to be blocked. Going through. Straight through the smoke into Shush's loving embrace. A freebie onto your kinder gets away. Tapping away. He's edging, Chad. Just around the smoke. 
real difficult position, but playing it very well. Nikodos has yet to frag and oh, still yet to frag and still yet to frag, chat. the rifle in his hands. He's better oh. with the rifle. Maybe it's Get like... Get him an M4 or an AK. It's like he a, gets two there. Oh, it's like, yeah, but it's humid. The mouse pad's sticky. That's true. Swamp pad. Swamp pad is a real thing. It affects us all. Well, we've paused. Take the space. We've tussled. And look what we've been able to sprawl on towards the site. But there's a line drawn in the sand. Two players over towards Donut reside for Heroic. Backing off is Cadian with the bomb on his back. Yeah, this... What's happening? Well, he, this is a classic heroic maneuver, and I understand that he's on liquid now, but, you know, to see them... He wants the CTs to, take to eventually the... think B's a possibility. Well, this is the thing. Team Liquid aren't overstepping the mark. They're hidden in towards Temple. They're parked up towards Tallbox. Uh, they're forcing heroic to either rotate or play for information, and Kixon is starting to have a look. If the sector is called clear, you might see nerds now look towards middle, but they're calling the bluff. I like this. They know. They're like, I've, dude, I've played with you. Caden, you used to be my IDL. I know I'm how spotted. you rock. And now, yeah, here comes the bomb into A. Ten There's seconds. three of them here. This is going to go horribly wrong. Yeah, Caden, goodbye. Round over. Tessus is going to be feeling very proud about that one. Calling the bluff. Cutting noise. 40 seconds. They're forced to run and hide. Wow. Okay, that gap is closing. It's closing rapidly. Good read of the situation there. You can see Shush with a smile on his face. Didn't work out for... Liquid's boys. Yeah, well, that's it, right? You bang on. They're, they're well aware of uh, the type of hijinks that Cadian likes to get up to. I, I don't mind the fact that they did just cut the noise, but they, but that, that clock whittled down, and then Cadian was the first one to make the move, and he had the bomb on his back, so he gets spotted. Mm. Time was already low. Oh, you can see, I like you explained it right there. You could see the, the logic behind it in the sense that, they expect okay, someone to CTs are going to come look for in answers, you know? There's 50 seconds, I like, think, at the point that they just hit hit the pause. Like skulls in temple. That's a great angle for someone to be potentially like looking for answers and getting going, getting caught. Well, Zeus trying to get them fired up off the back of a second timeout in this first half of play. They've been able to invest. The Tech 9 for Yakinda, a Galil in the hands of skulls. A couple of AKs in the mix, so more than enough for a competitive buy out of Team Liquid. But again, they would love to grab another round or two before... Oh, let's just call it one. Just one round before we make it towards halftime. Red Smoke lands. A bit more standard. Two towards middle to harass. They're coming through. Giving it a good go. Now it's flashed off. Spam kill from Tessus. Yeah, that's a nice start. Yakinda watching from the sidelines now. Presence definitely noted. Two of them trying to go quick, actually, towards B. So bombs towards B doors. This could be a bit more poppy, a bit more of a test. And look at these angles Tessus is working with. He got a banger on the pistol with something similar. Just holding these real tight lines. That's going to flash, I think, in towards Cave. Oh, he's missed it. That's, that's awkward, isn't it? Cadian goes down. Not blind was Tessus. 12th frag found. He's on for more here. The multi-kill master racks himself up a triple just like that. A quad kill in the round. Kicks and denies his ace. He's not going to be happy with that, but that was beautiful. Tessus is sharp today. He's come in firing on all cylinders. Bit of a shake of the head from Tessus. Don't test my cave. Yeah, go, go some, try somewhere else. Yeah, or maybe with land the your spam, flash I think. Ah, well, it wasn't all the way through the board, just the corner of the wall. And to stop Yakinda, who has been tussling with him, especially with these lower weapons, we saw the success he was having with the MAC-10 earlier. But Tessus is one of the names in the heroic jersey that we've been loving, what we've seen, uh, especially in this new iteration of the team. He's really been able to put his aim on display. Well, Liquid humbled in the investment. And heroic. Back in the swing of things. Shush on the jiggle, ready for the defense when he sees the shadow. Going to lob out either a smoke or a molly. Molly in the hands for now. This is a B fake. Oh. Well, that's very convincing. Naf taking down Nikodos, but Shush, he's still managed to find them all. It's a full with one magazine. That's spicy. Round over. It doesn't matter about that lovely little catch you got from Nav. Nearly hits the crazy flick, but instead it will be Cadian getting one. Well, he's going to uh, the opposite side of the world, isn't he? The bomb's down on A. Cadian's going to try his luck over towards B. Uh, yep, Kixon has heard you. What a horrible way for this to go down for Cadian. There's no way he's clearing this. I say that with such conviction. I have no idea, do I? But, yeah. Uh, I, yo, yeah. yo. 
Yo, the old stabbing the new. That is cruel. Kicks and you cheeky boy. And the gap's closing, Chad. We know that hot start we were talking about. This is a, it's all but wiped clean. And that momentum again, just to highlight, is completely gone right. the liquid. Sure, they're going to be happy with it. And they flick back over, they get the CT pistol. You're reignited with that fury. But if they're a little bit upset of how some of these rounds have unfolded, that could be them mentally stewing. Shush sure, happy to see that knife kill come in, some it's grins on the faces. He sees the red dot on his mini-map, he's like, what are you doing? Are you going to finish Are you going to do something, or...? Liquid. Do so you have any concerns to voice? Cadian straight towards B with this AWP. The Lurk Smoke on the side, you can see him immediately looking at the left-hand side of the pillar. Right. Have very limited options, and they walk straight into it. That's a manufactured opening. It's very cool. Kicks in looking for any info. Ramp, he gets an old bullet between his ribs. Good damage from Naf as well, puts Tess on notice. This could be a really nice finish. They're kind of cherry on top of this Team Liquid T side. Nerds falling away on the elevated angle. Cadian has caught, finished off Tessus, but it's Nerds and Shush back with a vengeance. Could be desperate from Skulls through the smoke. Yeah, he's thinking about it. Naf talked about smoke. Nikodos has just walked past him. You see him? 4x3? Oh, oh, no. He didn't see him. Naf didn't he didn't either. see yeah, him? That's crazy. Cadian's having to go for a full ace at this rate. Look at the bombs outside the door. Skulls needs to come back and pick that up. There's yeah. 55 seconds. No rush initially. You know Nikolos is pushed, so you can see that smoke is going to take some time to clear. And Nikolos has fully just pulled the ripcord. He's out of there. Oh, Skulls is looking for the bomb. Which side of the box is this bad boy on? He's been able to pick it up, but rotating back across the world and towards A comes with his own issues. The fact that Cadian's in cave, he isn't going to be able to assist with this. I feel like the B finish would be the better of the two options. Cadian's going to have to draw blood. If he just goes down and it's quiet, then Shush can stay where he is. And that's currently... Oh, feeling things out in mid. 25 seconds, guys. What are they doing? Into mid. This is a great frag. The, there goes the, the round, I suppose. Unless he can hit it with the pistol. Shush is right underneath him. Goes for the no-scope. Showboating. I don't know if he has time. I don't think he has time. 10. Well, Nikodos well, is here. Nikodos is there. He's been having a bit of a tough time. Seven. Six. Oh, he can plant in the smoke, but hang on. Nikodos can finish it right here. Sticking out will close his second frag. And it's 6-6 six, six on the half.
Here we are. Cadian versus Heroic. Team Liquid versus Heroic. And it's been already an interesting uh, whistle-stop run of the side Ancient. Uh, Chad, what were your key takeaways from that? It had a bit of everything. Yeah, a strong start from Liquid with what looked like some well-put-together moves and protocols and decision-making that then later in the half started to look a little bit wonky. Heroic getting back into the swing of things and Liquid, well, when they were down, the number disadvantages didn't look like they had it all put together. But let's see, the pistol round underway and four players charging out middle. Twist with first blood, make it second blood. Can he make it third? Why not? Okay, Eden's actually going to yoink that one into the head of Nikodos. And yeah, the bomb retrieval would be nice. It cost him a great deal of his life and still hasn't got it. Great drive by there from the Glock. It's a very potent pistol, but Cadian will close. It's just Tessus in a one versus four. A smoke from Naf doesn't stop Tessus just driving straight through it. Wants to take himself the USP. Is there something to be said about this round? He knows he's taken down the kit as well. Saw that on the ground. Bomb under their rule. Has plenty of time to work with, but if he's hoping a kill comes his way... Mm, yeah. I think it's interesting that uh, Twist is still hanging around for the potential b wrap. Well, they essentially have everything covered right, right now, so the CT net, it's working as you would hope. And even if he picks up the bomb, he starts to pick a site, so there's responders on either side. As Twist now finds himself in cave, investigating middle, might be able to find a bit of a timing as Tessus has been able to slink ever closer towards that bomb. We noted when he picks it up, and there it is, bullet in the back of the head. Twist to close that one down. Both pistols for Team Liquid. And they finally break through after that comeback from Heroic. Triple out of twists, very clean with it, looking good, looking like he's in form. And going to be needing more of that from uh, Team Liquid Stars. Well, in the modern conversation, without the bomb going down, the cheaper Galil's in play, the MR12, it's going to be the Glock Eco. So I don't think we'll see anything too exciting. Yeah, CT pistols, man, absolute gold. It does mean we can address the... Uh, CT setup for Team Liquid that they'll be running on this map. Yukinda will be the cave player. Naf will be dealing with B-Long. Uh, you're going to have Twists as one of the mid-entities on the rifle. Skulls to be the A anchor and then Cadian floating around. Bit of the X factor. Right? There's obviously going to be different setups of how they want to hold middle or A. The AWP tends to get a bit of traction. But Skulls, going to put pressure on the young Brazilian. As long as the bomb doesn't go down, I would say no harm, no foul. Ah... Handling it well here, Cadian. That threatening Deagle did do something, but uh, just the one casualty. Certainly not wanting to it. lose the M4. Yeah, they are. You can see Cadian really wants an extra 600 bucks, an extra frag. I want to make sure he can actually pick up the M4 of Scott with God oh, D. What bloody hell? Yeah, <laughs> Nika does. Making sure his clock's still not... Shot. That's costly. Do they not get the uh, M4? Uh, oh. That was... that. Yeah. So... This is the thing. Twist just threw his M4 over to be picked up. I don't know if it even got picked up by any of his teammates. So they... They actually took... I think they didn't take they either M4 into the next round. I think they got one. Uh, like, I think Skulls just... Wait. No, because Skulls was dead. I don't think they had either M4 come through in the next round. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh, we're very, very effective eco from Heroic. We'll see if, what the, if we can you that. As Tess is down to a good spam, well placed bullet through the smoke from Skulls. Tessus aggress cut down. It's your Kinder. Ready for it, he's Kixon. Pushing down the ramp. A second, though, the MP9 potent at that mid range. They are, however, looking for a bit of an open runway into B. Flash good or better. Cadian nailing shots, racks up the double. And should have secured the round off of that. Nerds disconnected from the pack, was holding middle. A yeah, bomb to be fortified, smoke lands, and Nine available for Team Liquid now and just need to batten down the hatches for the next 70 seconds. Nerds to try his luck at a clutch. Yeah, so quickly it started for Skulls and this is the shots from Cade. You'll see if we get that second one as well. That sounded good. Oh, it was. Damn. Just the tip of Nikodos' head. Pixel gap. Well tracked. Nerds has arrived after our little uh, highlight reel interlude. How's the smoke? How's he going to make this one work? Looks like he's just 
And I love it over towards the bomb. That one's had an interesting ricochet. Nice, well calculated. Perfectly on the bomb. Well, that's a lot of information for him. <laughs> yeah, they're spamming. Yeah. And there is, unfortunately, a little bit of a gap that uh, Twist is holding. Staying dynamic on 20 seconds, Nerd. So you're going to give it a look in. Yeah, this is what he's expecting. Oh, he's done well. Ice makes the first. Oh. Nails the second onto Skulls. And he's found another smoke. He's cooking now. 10 seconds. Is this really doable? Pick up the bomb. Eight seconds. Oh, he can't find it. Oh, time. No time. Kadian will close it. But a valiant attempt from Nerds. You can see the... the Problem solving was coming together for a second there. It feels like he's spitting chips not being able to pick up that bomb because that was beautiful. The twist kill was great. The second Lovely. enabled the rounds. This one using that gap of the smoke in his favor and then just seeing the traces coming through removes Skull's head. Yeah, just frustrated he couldn't pick up the bomb because it was so doable if he was able to scoop that up. But Heroic yeah, to grab a round on this T campaign. They have invested lightly. And a mid utility. Oh, and charging through the flames. They have gone with the extinguished pace on this into Yakinda, who oh, hasn't got yeah. anything done. Tessus yeah. takes him down. Tech nines. Is it really going to be where they start. Pressure on skulls. Themselves Pressure a on skulls. Round. It is just skulls, and he's back. Oh, hitting shot. And the second onto Nurse is clean. Kadian will deny. He's starting to really come into his element here. They did force the gap, though. You saw that. Skulls was backpedaling all the way to get over to either respond towards red or respond towards the B-hold, and he's able to get kills in transition. So really good stuff from Skulls. That's 10 rounds now. Liquid in a best of one. Right? These best of ones are actually very important in the format we have on our hands. You win this, it's one best of three. You're locked in towards the playoffs. Right? That's as, how easy and how quick it can go. So later today, we have uh, Linvision taking on Furia, which is a rematch from the Major. And we've also got Tai Lu in the server. If both of the Chinese teams win, it means we would have one of them locked in 100% for the playoffs. That's a big if. But that uh, could be cool. You know, Lid Vision can do it. Can Tai Lu? Says Twists. Oh my god, blocking two of them in the smoke. He gets nothing from it. Flash exchange, lining them up. Kadian will get away with one onto Nerds, but cost him skulls. And now Yakinda's aggression's gone down. This has been a rather. Uh, energetic start. Well, put this together in your head. You know that Kadian was over towards Donut, and you know Naf is traditionally a B holder. If there's just one play towards B and you can quickly get the troops back together and execute, you trade, you're in, you win. And, well, fortunately, Naf has rotated towards the other side of the map. This might just have to be the save call for Team Liquid. They're regrouping now at the doors. Could just go contact. Don't even have to go hefty with the execute, but Nikodos wants to play it safe. Short smoke. Long molly, and away they go. This will be Heroic's first round. Oh, look what at that. Beautiful molly spread. Maybe you want to see. Options, yeah. Nice little combo. Better to be safe than sorry. Bomb has been planted. See how this went wrong for Twist? Because, I mean, he knows, and they realize it's about the same time. But then, ah, yeah, backing away. Multiple targets as well. Very hard, yeah, just kind of between the two of them. Could work from Kixon, finding himself the double and Heroic breaking into the T side, getting started. You were mentioning KD and 18 kills for him thus far. And, well, yeah. the first time he's taken on a few of his old teammates and his ex-organization, but this is it. It doesn't come with the same level of animosity, I would imagine, as playing against Astralis does. Mm. Because the conversation went that it was Stown and Yabby who, oh, who yeah. wanted him gone, whereas uh, that wasn't the entire team. Right, we don't actually know the full picture or the full story, but I, I would say that things aren't as... Uh, well, maybe towards the org, Kadian might feel a bit betrayed that they didn't stick with him. Well, he'd certainly want to beat Heroic. Let's yes. make no mistake yeah, as, about that. as the logo. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, late. Tactical timeout. The third now burnt from Team Liquid. Zeus, you can see him looking straight towards the eyes of his in-game leader, Kadian, the two of them being able to confer. Give Saw an opportunity to get on the mic as well, but not an awful lot of talking from the big boss until feels it's very necessary. Now I saved M4, I saved AWP, and now shoving the rest of those pennies in towards the center of the table. They've been able to get a Famas for Skulls. Yakinda's actually going to operate with an MP9. Kadian would have had enough to drop an M4, so that tells me he wants to make sure he can keep the X factor of the AWP out in more rounds more often than not. Or it also might spell some aggression from Yakinda. You see him in that cave position. He definitely packs a punch, little MP9. If he's going to get Aggie with it. 
Might just be an A play out of Heroic, which would be a nice call. Yeah, I mean, it's only Naf there. But this is a different setup. Naf usually holds B. He's on the boost. They're going to be ready for it. Oh! oh! Well, at least gets one. Hectic start. Skulls another. Look at this. There's already three of them. There! Twist gets three! As easy as that r completely destroys the commitment. Oh, How were the, they there so quick? But that's it. That's the call out of spawn. Nav should be B. He was up towards a tree. It meant Skulls was Donut, right? So they had more bodies over towards A than they traditionally would. A uh, standard setup, right? We're talking two mid, two B, one towards A. Nav on the pre-fire looks a little bit silly. Uh, but the fact he grabs one is huge. And then Twist, he's edging. He's edging hard right here. Unbelievably. You're going to see an awful lot of that, especially in that position, especially over towards middle. And that's the first time we've seen them getting fired up because they that's like a huge that round. That's that was a, a call that they've just discussed off the back of a timeout. They were ready for that type of an A play. They stalled out Heroic's movements. Yeah, super interesting. I, and yeah, I, I agree. Now pre fire looks silly, but finding one. Yeah, yeah like Tessa's, Tessa's obliged. He went, oh, okay. Here I come. Yeah. <laughs> and the shadows, I mean, oh. like, you... I don't know if you're, what you think, but I definitely get a bit freaked out with oh, something like, sure. that, like that. When you're on boost and the uh, temple shadow, that yeah. one always gets me going. I can't can't quite get the timing right. Haunted house. Yeah, it Jump is a bit scare. spooky. It just throws you off. Well, both teams, primarily rifles, both teams rocking an SMG. Tassus. Oh, man, if I'm heroic, I'm screaming. How is there three of them there from spawn? But yeah. Like a bit of a mad, isn't that? Yeah, beautiful calling. Let's see what happens now. No, it's out Skulls. And you got a clash here from <laughs> Tessus, giving Yakinder a taste of his own medicine. SMG action. Look at the pressure Cadian's under. He's the only one on B right now. And against Tessus, these strafey gains must be frustrating. Nate, strafe, Cadian, search. Having a look. Solid damage there from Nikodos. He's got the util. He's got the headshots. AK-47. Taking down the Orpa. And that's a bit, that should be a round secure. They know they were searching towards middle, so at this point, ushering towards the site, get the bomb down, and because of the scoreline, likely to see Liquid go for another save, but both teams have used all of their timeouts. Mm. So unless we go to overtime, we will not see the coaches with another opportunity. So the decisions now are going to be with the five players on either side of the server between one another. Nikodos able to get the AWP in his hands. We saw some ugly moments from him, but just getting warmed into things here in Chengdu. That sounded good. Thank you, I've been practicing. Wow. Oh, okay, that was a B-stream update for everybody playing at home. But we were just talking about uh, the SMG action and just biffing in cave. It's been a lot of lower buys or lighter weaponry. But there was a lot of pressure on Kadian after the Akinda's gone down on the side on his own. And that's a great fight for a rifle. It's always quite comfy with the AK you spot and tops of heads. Just a three-round game. Yeah, that's probably going to suck the air out of the room a little bit. Still enough for another liquid buy, but as we take a look at, at the loss bonus, for them going into the next round until the 1900, so if they continue to lose the sites in similar fashion, they'll have to keep saving. So for Heroic, it means for them, unless they wipe the board, it is always going to be going up against a threat or two. But they will need a couple of rounds consecutive, and then Liquid's loss bonus will start to build. Good pressure. Oh, that's a lot of damage for Nikodos, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, down to a crisp. They're out middle. They have Tetris control, elbow as well. And now they can apply pressure towards red. One of the positives in this round oh, is going to be the A main space that Skulls currently has. Because now if you let them slip through Donut, right, they will have to clear 180 degrees. So it, it's not the end of the world. Somebody will have to acknowledge the red leak as well from Team Liquid. Because that's been open, and yeah, you can see Twist having to acknowledge that. But that puts Twist in such an awkward position, considering where he currently resides. They might have to do a, a little bit more of a proactive maneuver on the CT side. Well, that's kind of Cadian's repertoire. Uh, often proactive. I like the fact that he's the one dealing with this. There's behold, they can feel that they're under pressure. The spam, it's not quiet. They're jumping around. There's plenty of noise, and now there's util. Nuts is going to go investigating. A cool donut clear eventually. But they can always pivot off of ledge, right? So it is going to be that 180. Oh, I've spammed down again. Just harassment, pure harassment. Yeah, they are starting. I think Nat Nertz has summoned his troops. Saying, boys, A feels very quiet. But Cadian is going to be setting himself up a re smoke on ramp. 
Trying to keep the pressure as Nika does. Kadian, he's just got there in time. Spots out one. Nerds is committing in. A delay volley. Yeah, 14 seconds. It does limit their chances. Looking for the plan. Skull's got to get it over Skulls here. Skull's could just deny it. What are you looking for? Hey, man, it's clear, brother, man. Seven seconds. It would have been a perfect opportunity. Tess is on to Nav. They are all kind of locked into Donut, though. Skull should have at least one. The, the delay on this has got Nerds completely unprepared for that. Now, they would love a smoke. Don't see one. Kit on Twists and Skulls. Well, nice angle, but not so great in the result department. Up to the spray is Tess. He could win this. He certainly has the capacity for greatness, does Tess. 14 HP. Missed shot. Spots him on the defuse. And 12 secure. Twist pulls it across the line. Liquid are going to be very happy with that. Yeah, it was... Oh, it was on a knife's edge for a moment. A touch and go, that was stressful. Uh, the fact that Skulls are still searching out A main in case of a threat when I think, what, there was like 12, 13 seconds left on the clock. Uh, but they did get it to work. And well, this is how the exchange went down. Nikodos blowing the smoke open himself and getting taken out of the equation. Skulls, as you mentioned, it just seemed like, hey, how has nobody responded to this? Still able to pick up one. And this might be the final round of this best of one. Yeah, and as you've highlighted, best of one wins here. It's probably one of the biggest wins that this Liquid roster has had. Yeah, for real. I think a lot of people expected this to be a bit of a heroic cakewalk, seeing how Liquid have floundered at times. Lots of comms from Cadian. Smokes off Donut. He smokes himself off as an orb, but... Haynes vigilant on the angle. Dismantling their two-man cave setup, they're starting to rejig. Yeah, but look how quiet it is towards B. In the last round, there was spams, there was U2, there was jumping. Right now, there's no noise. So Liquid have got a hold up. This doesn't look like a standard round. They've backed off completely from B. They're responding to the threats towards middle, towards red. Yeah, they're not particularly buying Kixon's util there. He's thrown out a flash ramp, and it has kept... Look at the setup, nah. three on A. This is great from Liquid. This, this is can... fantastic. They can shut this down. This is it. This is probably looking... Be the final round of play. Orp noted. Cadian catches Nerds trying to line up the smoke. It does leave his hand though. Cadian gonna have to try and nade himself out. Oh, what? Twists. Forced forward by the flames. Finds the multi kill. It's only Tessess left in the clutch. What's he got? Nothing. Yakinda secures it. Liquid take down Heroic to start off their IEM Chengdu campaign with a win. That's gonna feel great for Cadian going up against his old org, but I think just good for Liquid as a whole to get a win, to be able to pull off a victory considering how bad the start for this roster has been. You've got big names in the Liquid jersey, Twist reunited.